This is going to be my review of the F-150 North Bayou wall mount, the VESA mount that they have. I just want to kind of show you one by one what I've done. So I've been able to mount this onto my wall uh, by just screwing it in here. I use my stud finder, which you can see here, to basically find that stud. Now the box does come with like this little doohickey here that you can actually put onto the bolt itself. I noticed that the, the uh, connections that I had weren't it's actually working very well, so I use theirs. And within here, you'll see a uh, the ability to put your own little Allen wrench in there, and I actually use my own electric screwdriver to screw this in, but they do come with a manual, it does come with a manual uh, Allen wrench that you can use as well. But that's how I was able to get it in. The other thing is they have a level here so that as you're leveling this out, I just make sure that's level, and now it's super sturdy, and it's not gonna come off that wall. So now I'm gonna put the bracket onto my monitor. So the box comes with different size screws. You can see I've already got a couple in here, but uh, I'm, I'm using the smaller version of these screws. I'm not sure the exact size, uh, but there's bigger and smaller ones. It took me a second to realize that. So what I'm doing now is putting my smaller screws in here so I can put the wall mount bracket on the back. So here I have the wall mount bracket. I've already taken it off the actual mount itself. You, when you put it on, you'll see that this screw that you see on the back of this, that screw right there by my ring finger, goes into this right here, and that's how it stabilizes to go up, down, and also to spin this left and right. So I took that off and reapplied it here just so I can have it ready to go, and then I'll mount it in a second. But what I also had to do, if you look at this, I had to spin this around. I took a wrench and just spun this. This little uh, piece here does spin, and uh, that's actually what gives you your vertical monitor if you need to, but that's the piece that spins right here, this, this metal piece. Okay, as you can see, I've mounted the bracket. So for mine, I had to put these little uh, indents of the bracket underneath these screws, and then I tightened the top screws down. Sorry, that's not focused very well. Then I had to tighten those screws down, and I did the same thing for the bottom. And now I'm gonna take this screw out and put it onto my actual mount. The screw is out, and this little piece here that locks the screw in, that actually stays on the little bracket. So now I'm gonna take my monitor off my normal stand and pop it onto this right here, right there, that hole. Okay, so you can see I've got it on there now. If you look over on this side, I basically tightened this screw. It took me a second, but I was able to get it in there. Now it's tightened on there. And that's essentially what it looks like on my wall. So now before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these caps back onto these uh, little holders here because I want it to look nice on my wall. And then we'll get to actually adjusting this to the way I like it. In case it wasn't already self-explanatory, there are pieces that will hide this. They look like this. They come with the, sorry, they come with it on, and I just had to pop them off in order to adjust this. That's what these are. And they can just pop right back on, which I can do later. But right now I want to keep that on because I want to make some adjustments. Okay, now here's for the next part, and this is what I found confusing when I first got it. This bar actually is gonna stay locked in a position until you actually put weight on this. When I first got this, I had to hold this down so I could see the actual adjustment screw right there on the top. So that's what that's the adjustment screw for the uh, strength of the, I think they call it a gas spring. But if you notice, let me go ahead and lift this up. I might have to use two hands here. One second. There we go. So if I just come here and I lift it up, it'll actually stay there. If I bring it back down, it'll stay there. But that little knob on the top, I can adjust and tighten that. So there's a little bar that says plus or minus. It's obvious which way to turn the screw to increase the strength. So I'm gonna increase it by turning it to the right. And that's gonna actually strengthen that. And I believe make it harder to push up. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I don't see much of a difference. But that's where that is, right there. On the very top, to screw it to the right or to the left, and it will stop eventually, but it's right there on the top. But as you can see, I'm just lifting it up and down, and it's staying where I want it. And I can also spin it to the right, to the left, tilt it. If I uh, weaken that screw, I would tilt it up and tilt it back, but right now it's hard. I need to loosen that a little bit, I think. That's that so far. And the other screws you need to be aware of that you can loosen are on the bottom, this guy right here, that'll loosen how it turns, uh, how this bar turns along this hinge, and then this right here, that, that how it turns along that hinge. So you can pull this pretty far out um, and use it, or you can pull it, flush it way back to the wall and use it as well. 
But I think that's sufficient. I think that, that might get you going and I wish you luck.